is Ashton Marcus, and I'm on location at the Saban Theater for the opening of Rent. Hi, my name is Ashton Marcus. I'm with KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine, and I'm with... Ben Ginsberg. I'm a music director at Companist. I'm from Ventura County. Um, I uh, went to CalArts in Valencia, got my bachelor's degree there, and I've been um, doing lots of musical theater accompanying and music directing, and I'm also a classical pianist, and I'm a studio musician, and um, a vocal coach, uh, uh, you name it. So, yeah, that's what I do. And uh, what did you do here? I music directed Rent uh, with Plan B Productions, Plan B Entertainment Productions with um, Andy Ferrara. I was the audition accompanist, I was the music director, I was um, the orchestrator, I not the orchestrator, the uh, contractor for the musicians, so I was re responsible for the musical aspect of the show. So what do you look for in your casting? Um, I just try to fulfill the director and the producer's vision. The Saban Theater um, graciously asked us to put on rent here, and so um, Andy Ferrara it was his vision of what he wanted the show to be for the for, uh, for the Saban. So I was there to assist him, and we're looking for you know obviously strong singers, but also people who want to tell a story about the show, uh, and also people who are um, committed actors, committed singers, committed performers who are easy to work with and who are um, willing to do whatever they need to do to fulfill the vision of the show. So that's I was there to assist with that. Um, you know, it's also a very vocally demanding show, so I was there to make sure that they were, um, you know, trained enough to, to do all that and also um, just rearranging things and just seeing what their strengths and what their strengths were and trying to focus on that too as well. So, um, yeah, that's what I did. As for the casting of the musicians, uh, what, what do you usually do for that? I mean, do you just, do you just know the people, you hire your friends, or do you actually uh, listen to their work? Well, we actually look for... I mean, Rent's a unique show in that it's musical theater and rock and roll, so we need musicians who are rock and roll musicians, but who are also very familiar with musical theater. Because it, it, the show just goes on and on like a musical. It's not like a rock show where it's just all rock songs. There's, there's ballads, there's, um, there's even a, t you know, there's a tango song, there's, um, you know, jazzy songs. So um, I'm looking for musicians... I knew them. I mean, I knew two of them, um, and one of them was hired ahead of time. He was the drummer who had worked with the production company before, and he has done Rent before. I've done Rent before. The guitarist has done Rent before. So we were looking for familiar people who knew the score and who knew the style that was required for it. So um, I was I was in charge of hiring them. Yeah. Yeah, because again, I've interviewed a lot of directors. I always ask them about how they, how they do casting. I, I've never really asked the music director there, and it must be extremely difficult because you have to be, you have to be extremely skilled at music, but you have to know who's going to, you know, maybe by reputation, who's going to show up and who's going to just freeze on you. On oh, exactly, ones. yeah. I mean, I two of the guys in the show I've done, a sh I've done a show with. One of them I've done Rent with, so I knew that he knew the score. But it's right, it's very specific when you hire a musician for a musical, for Rent the musical. You have to hire someone who you can trust will be able to move as quickly as the show goes, who can... Um, you know, play all the cues that are required, and they're, they, they're, they're lightning fast. And, you know, for the first act, it's literally song after song until uh, Over the Moon, which is basically at the end of the, show, end of the first act. So it's just constant playing. So um, it's, a, it's a tricky thing to hire, hire musicians because you can't just hire someone that you read their resume and you just like, oh, they can do it, but you have to also audition them, you have to, or have played with them before. And you have to also, you know, it's asking word of mouth, um, you know, other trusted music directors who have worked with people before. There's a, you know, there's a network of people we go to when we ask these questions. Yeah. Yeah, so what kind of advice can you give to young uh, musicians who actually want to do musical theater, professional theater? Uh, what kind of advice can you give them? I would say if there's a production going on in your high school or community theater, go up to the director or the producers and, and offer yourself as a musician. Often those, oftentimes those productions are low budget, so they could use musicians who would work as a volunteer or work for very cheap. And so um, you, you have to learn the music. I mean, there's just the, the wide variety of musical theater uh, productions and, and shows is huge. And so 
um, if you are you have to know every show. I mean, even if you even if you've played ten musicals, you, there's still ten more you don't know, and their styles and their and the styles that you don't know. So really, as a musician, you just have to get the soundtracks and play along, and just you have to find a love for it, really, because if you don't like it, it's not something that you're gonna get hired to do. You have to really just be like, yeah, I can jam with this, and eventually the musicians just kind of in the band and the band and the pit, we kind of just kind of start jamming together, and then we're just really growing with the groove with it. So it really has to. Uh, come from a place of love, first of all. You have to really enjoy all of the musicals. You have to just find a thirst for them and just play. Just um, you know, you don't have to play in a professional production. You can play in a community theater production. You can play in a high school production, and that can get you familiarized with it. So I, you know, I started when I was 15 in my high school. I didn't know any musicals at all. So I was, you know, one by one, I learned I learned one show, learned two shows. Now I know like 75 shows. So. Yeah, you just have to, just like any other thing that a musician wants to get used to, if you want to get used to classical music, you would go to lots of concerts, you would get music, musicians together and play different chamber music, trios, quartets, different things, you would play, go join a, a community orchestra and play symphonies, so it's really just, you know, and maybe you, you won't learn this in school perhaps, because schools don't really focus on musical theater productions and musical theater musicians, it's really a trade outside of school, but you just have to look around and be open, you know, and be open to the fact that you can find venues around and they would be happy to have you. It's really a lot of a lot of theater is just community coming together. So you have to be a community-minded you know, musician who's willing to just come together and, and do that, play that music. So, yeah. Well, thank you very much for being on the show. My pleasure. Yeah. It's been a great show, and we just got eight more shows, and it's just the audience loves it, and it's just thrilling to play for them, especially at a theater like the Savant. It's just huge. It's a rock and roll venue. It's but also a theater venue, so this what, what what other show could happen here but Rent, so really happy to be here. Yeah, I love the show. Yeah, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Hi, I'm Ashton Marcus with KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine, and I'm with... My name is Joshua Youngs, a.k.a. Selena Blackwater, and I played Angel in Rent. I am actually in Anaheim, born and raised, Anaheim OC. I know, right? Irvine is right there with you. But I was very much a artistic type from an early age, and that's something that I kind of held true to myself, especially through high school, growing up as a trained dancer, going into college, getting my BFA in dance with CalArts, the California Institute of the Arts. And it was through college, more or less, that I have found the art of drag which is how I, not so much make my living, but make my name, more or less, throughout SoCal, Orange County, LA, Long Beach. And it was through the fact that I had an affinity to the care angel that I was able to really be able to find fun with the role of angel. Angel is really the drag queen with the heart of gold. You don't really get to see much unless you actually know and look past the fact that she's a drag queen. Unfortunately, though, she is dying of AIDS, and during the course of the show, she does leave us. But in my case, and in my opinion, no one never really dies until you truly forget about them. And that's the case with Angel. His gift still definitely lived on within the family he created with himself. With Tom, jo Tom, Mark, Roger, Joanne, Mimi, and so on and so forth. Yeah. So, what do you think of the storyline of Rent? Because everyone takes a different take on it. I mean, what's your take on it? Oh, actually, thank you for asking. This is one of my favorite questions I've been asked. For me, Rent has always been that answer to the question: How do you spend your last days? As the lines are, I live this moment as my last. For me and for Angel, and this is kind of how I see it too, you spread enough love in the world that you are suffocated by the love. So really, you have to create a family with the world that you're with. That's how Angel, I believe, is spending his last days. That's like his bucket list, if you will. Hmm? I basically think it's basically life is just very messy. I mean, you got to go through it. You got to take the warts with the with, with the beauty. Oh, absolutely. The fact is, like, especially with me and my uh, 
my expertise more or less I try to find the beauty in everything and everyone and I think with that way I've been able to find some of the best friends in the world from people who I guess their other peers wouldn't give them the second glance but they are amazing people and yeah life is hard but I think it's a living testament from the big guns upstairs if you know what I mean to see how much the human nature could really take does that make sense <laughs> well, I loved your performance. I thought you were fantastic. Thank you so much. Actually, doing those, uh, <laughs> doing that split in the six and shields, I do that on a nightly basis during my performances. But <laughs> I love that character. It's my third time doing this production, and I hope for so many other times. Okay. Well, thank you very much for being on the show. Thank you so much for having me in your interview. Thank you. Have a good, right, have a good night. Mwah. Tootsie. <laughs> Hi, my name is Ashton Marcus. I'm with KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine, and I'm with... I'm Andrew Wade. I uh, moved down here five years ago to pursue uh, performance-oriented stuff. I'm from Portland, Oregon. Originally, uh, I had my degree in vocal performance from the University of Portland. And, uh, yeah, I do a lot of musical theater. I play guitar. I'm a singer-songwriter as well. Yeah. Play Mark Cohen. Uh, Mark Cohen is an aspiring filmmaker, but also who likes living a bohemian lifestyle and really has a deep care for social issues um, and really cares a lot about his friends. And he has a lot of friends who have been stricken with AIDS and this happens during the AIDS epidemic and so it, this story is is his story he narrates the story and and he's is a story about his friends and he kind of hides behind the camera but uh, is able to see the story and eventually tell the story and really really come out of his own his own shell in a way um, but he really cares about his friends he really cares about community he really cares about love and the acceptance of all people so what do you think of the storyline of Rent? I, it's always been a strange one for me because it's not you know black and white. It's it's more of a real complicated. It's very messy. So what do you think of it? Well, a lot of people would say that the show's about AIDS, and while that's like a component, and it was a big, big influence in Jonathan Larson's life as he wrote Rent. Um, it's it's really primarily for for me about about love and community and even unconditional love and just acceptance and living in the moment and accepting and appreciating every every minute you have on this earth because you really don't know especially for those people who lived through this epidemic and and, and through that whether today or not would be your last air whether you had a month or a year or how long you really had so it's really about just embracing life and embracing the people in your life and really opening your mind to all types of people too. Your character basically hid behind work, hid behind the camera. He was, wasn't involved, he was more like observing. What do you think of that? Yeah, he's, uh, he's a little afraid to get too close to, the, uh, to all of that. He, he has a deep care for his roommate, Roger. Um, he's seen Roger lose a girlfriend who he loved to AIDS, and now he's seen Roger uh, involved with another person with AIDS, and it just, you know, he, he cares so deeply. He's almost a paternal figure or a mother figure, almost kind of in a way, too, to Roger, um, who, who's kind of lost his way and, and needs help getting back on track. Um, and so, so for Mark, it's hard sometimes to get out from behind that. It's really, it's too real. It can be too real for him to have to deal with those issues, those those huge issues, and in a way he'd rather tell the story than have to maybe be a part of that and have to deal with those these deep emotions and, and those the loss and all that sort of stuff. Um, so that's, that's one of the reasons that he really struggles with that sort of hiding behind the camera or not. Yeah, and in, in What You Own, he's really able to finally go beyond that and tell a story that he cares about and is able to then, um, the song What You Own, that is, um, and then is able to really connect, you know, for once with everyone. Well, as a person then, what would you do if you only had one year left to live? If I had one year left to live, man, I would travel. I'll tell you what, I would go everywhere I wanted to go, and I'd take my wife, and we'd go, and we would just set out. She doesn't like the water, but if I, if I got to choose, we'd sail. We'd sail, yeah. Head to the Mediterranean or something and go. And yeah, if I had one year, spend it with family too. Invite them along. Because that's, this, this, that's another thing this show's about, just family. And family is not just who you're related to. It's who you choose to have in your family too. So, well, Thank you very much for being on the show. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Have a great evening. Thanks for coming out tonight. Hi, my name is Ashton Marcus. I'm with KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine, and I'm with... I'm John Devereaux. I'm originally from Houston, Texas, uh, born and raised, and I've been here in L.A. for about three years. Uh, I've been an actor ever since I was 17, and 
I've done Rent four times. This is the fourth performance as Tom Collins. He's a he's a anarchist, a revolutionary kind of person. Goes against the grain. Extremely intelligent, and he's such a such a fun person to play. He's cool, laid back. He's really the glue of all of the group. Holds everyone together. Yeah. So basically, uh, what do you think of the the storyline of Rent? It's such a bizarre one about you know what 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 how do you how do you measure life in in, in a year? Oh. Uh, that's that's what this whole show is about. You know, people fall in love, people die, people uh, are hurt, relationships are formed and broken in such a short amount of time. And that's what the whole show is about. It's about doing what you need to do now and not waiting t- until later. It's it shows over the span of a year how much can happen and um, how disease can affect you, how love can affect you, how uh, fear can affect you. It's it's such a great message, and I think it just shows people. Uh, what you need to be able to do to live a, a life in a year. It's great. I think as an artist, maybe you can communicate this a little better than I can, but <laughs> life is just messy. I mean, if you really want to oh, yeah. li- live it really well, it's just messy. Yes, it's, it's absolutely messy because no one, who wants a perfect life? Who wants a perfect, boring, normal life? Um, it's not it's, it's not fun, it's not enjoyable, of course, that's what we strive for, but once we get it, what else is there to do? You know, once you've achieved the epitome of something, what's wrong? What, what goes with that? Um, so you really want people like messy things. People like a messy life. It gives life experience. You learn and you grow from those messy experiences. Yeah, I think as an artist, that in, especially in art, oh, yeah. you just have to you just have to experience. It, otherwise, you have no passion. You can't you can't you can't communicate that exactly. And, and it gives you uh, as an actor. Uh, I use experiences in life as motivation for me on stage and it seeing someone in pain you know really helps you understand how it feels to be in pain you know um, everyone has their issues and their problems but without that life would be life wouldn't be worth living if we didn't have our issues and our, our problems we need to learn something from every relationship that we're in and every everything we do we need to learn something all right. Well, I love the performance. Great. Thank you. Thank you very much for being on the show. Thank you. Have a good night. Hi, my name is Ashton Marcus. I'm with KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine, and I'm with Jonah Ho'okano. I am a 21-year-old from Hawaii. I've been here for about three years now. Um, I moved here straight out of high school with, um, with Disney. They hired me from Hawaii to do the Aladdin show, and I've just been doing musical theater in the in the area ever since I play Roger Davis Roger is the rocker of the show he uh, is diagnosed with AIDS he um, he lives at home with his roommate Mark and is kind of a shut-in at this point uh, his ex-girlfriend had uh, committed suicide and so he lives alone and deals with the things that he has to deal with until this girl named Mimi, this, this kind of firecracker <laughs> named Mimi, comes and, and gets him to come out and experience things. And so, uh, what is your take on the, the storyline of Rent? I mean, it's such, everyone has this different opinion about it. What is it about? It's kind of this hodge. I mean, there's so many different aspects of it. There's, there's the whole um, contemporary look on 1990s New York. Um, and there's the whole, it's based on La Boheme the Opera. And it meshes really well. Uh, for me, Rent is about unconditional love. No matter who you are, no matter what you're doing, no matter where you are in life, it's getting through life with love and with loving each other. And that's that's kind of how you do things is with support. Great. I love your performance. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much for being on the show. Thank you, of course. Hi, my name is Ashton Marcus. I'm with KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine, and I'm with Shanice Goldwire. I'm playing Mimi. You know, I'm the very spunky, outgoing character in the show. Um, you know, I'm I'm the love interest of Roger, and you know, I just try to like keep everybody together and and have fun and stuff like that. So, um, I'm a graduate of AMDA con- um, Conservatory. So, I did two years in California, and then I did two years in New York to obtain my BFA. Um, um, this is actually my Cal- my California debut. I used to do shows back in New York when I was in New York two years ago. So this is my first 
debut for California. So I'm pretty excited about that. You know, I'm a I'm a military brat, so I moved all over. You know, I'm from Miami originally, and um, I came out here because I wanted to follow my dream, and this is my dream role. So I'm so glad that I got to play it. Um, yeah. So yeah. this is actually a pretty good first role. If this is your first one, and actually you're doing a very good theater too. Yes, I love it. Like the energy, the crowd. You know, they're giving us. They're giving us. Um, they're giving us what we need to kind of just just keep keep the energy up and keep the crowd going. And it's you know I, I'm I'm loving I'm loving the energy that we're getting. So I'm pretty excited about that. So why did you decide to get into musical theater anyway? Well, <laughs> as a kid, I decided that you know I didn't want to just have a desk job and like sit behind a desk. I was like, no, I'm going to do something different. You know, I don't I don't want to have something that I'm going to have to go ahead and, and and have to go and have have a nine to five or be bored. I wanted to do something that I was very passionate about and that I loved and that I love to do. I'm I'm a singer first, so I grew up in the church singing since I was five years old and dancing as well. So I said, you know what? Why not? I love this. This is where I want to go to school for, you know, anybody could do, you know, uh, uh, be an English major or a journalist, but I just didn't want to do that. I wanted to be able to inspire people and tell stories through myself, so that's why I got into musical theater. Well, I loved your performance. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. Thank well, you. Thank you very much for being on the show. No, thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, I'm Ashton Marcus with KUCI, 88.9 FM in Irvine, and I'm with... Lori Moore. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. I've been living in California for 10 years. Recently was on the last season of X Factor. Um, have done a few plays here and there. Did Rent with Andy in uh, last year at the California Theater. I've done some plays. I've done a little bit of TV, Real Husbands of Hollywood on, on BT. And I, I'm, I'm a singer and I, I gig. I, I try to make myself as um, seen and visible as possible to make my brand bigger. Great. Yeah. And uh, which character did you play? Joanne. Joanne is the lawyer who is head over heels for Maureen, who is a bundle of fun. Uh, she's she's the con she's the she comes from the conservative background, but she is definitely that outgoing person who lives in that La Vie Bohème world. So uh, she loves hard. She and she does for her friends, and and that kind of is what I relate to as a person as well. So why did you want to get into musical theater anyway? Musical theater has always been a part of my background. When I was young, I used to watch it. When you know, yeah. When I was young, I used to watch it, and I just saw those people. I always wanted to sing, but when I got into the, the gospel plays, even you know, watching The Wiz and things like that, I always thought that's something that I want to do because I always wanted to act, and I know I can sing. So it was like those. That's a perfect combination, and to be able to perform and have different things happen every night it's it's way more special than actually just going and recording a song way more special than going and doing a TV segment because that's like rigid every night something can happen a different moment can take place and that's what I love about musical theater I love your guys performance because rent is so challenging that if yeah. you guys don't do it right you can really mess it up that's true <laughs> it's a dangerous it's a, you know it's a thing it's a thing to tackle and um, and I think that Andy as a director did a great job in bringing reality to rent and his take on it really, really makes sense. As an actor, it was it's a luxury because all I have to do is come and bring my talent. I don't have to think too much. He puts us in a place. He gives us what his vision is. And I think we carry it out very well. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for being on the show. Thanks so much. I appreciate you. Hi, my name is Ashton Marcus. I'm with KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine. And I'm with? Music. I'm from Chicago. Uh, tonight I play Benny. Uh, I am from a musical family. I play several different uh, musical instruments, and I love musical theater. I, I went to school for it. I went to school at Amdo, Los Angeles. Uh, I play Benjamin Coffin. Uh, I play Benny. Well, Benny, uh, as you know, uh, it takes place in New York. He is the landlord and, and uh, a former friend of, of all of the tenants. Uh, Benjamin, he's gone through a journey throughout uh, Rent where he's married into a, a wealthy family and. I think Benjamin is very misunderstood. Some people, he's the antagonist of, of, of the of, uh, Rent the Musical. Uh, I think he has intentions that may be good, but they 
don't come across as good as it really is. <laughs> so so he, he has really good intentions that don't map out the best when, when it comes to uh, his family or, or, or when it comes to his friends. Yeah, his, Okay, so what do you think of the storyline of Rent here? It's such a strange one, and everyone takes a different opinion, but what do you think of it? I actually love the story. I, I think it, it holds a, a piece of humanity, and, and every character, every character is fully developed, and, and it gives you uh, just a different outlook. There, there's a lot of people, they may just judge it from the, from the outside, but I believe every person has um, their own struggle, as well as their, their own uh, demon that they personally battle with. So I, I think a lot of people can relate to it, and I love this story. I love this story a lot. Yeah, yeah well, I like the performance also. Uh, thank you so much. Right. Well, thank you very much for being on the show. Thank you very much. Hi, my name is Ashton Marcus. I'm with KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine, and I'm with... Melissa Lehman. Hi, um, I'm from Palos Verdes. Uh, I moved to New York when I was 17. I went to NYU, um, did some performing in New York, and just moved back to LA in January. I played Maureen. Um, Maureen is a bisexual performance artist who is protesting um, protesting her friend Benny taking over. Um, their East Village location. She is pretty ballsy out there, so she's doing this performance and they all go out to play after. And then um, she goes through some turmoil with her girlfriend Joanne here and there. Come see the show and see. <laughs> so, what do you think of this performance? Um, it's really a blast to play this role. It's a very iconic role. The songs are really, really fun to sing. It's really fun to do a performance piece, sing Take Me or Leave Me, which is really exciting. Yeah, it's very lovely. So why did you decide to get into musical theater anyway? Um, I've been doing musical theater since I was about seven years old at the Norris Theater in Palos Verdes here in the South Bay of L.A. So I kind of just followed the path, ended up at NYU for musical theater, and then here I am today. Yeah. So what do you think of this story of Rent? I mean, it, 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 it's such a strange story that some people will... Everyone takes a different different take of it. So what do you, what do you think of the story of Rent? Um, I think it's a very beautiful story. I think it really uh, encapsulates um, New York and the East Village in the 90s and um, kind of the AIDS crisis and what was going on and how awful it is to lose your friends and, you know, see a big group of artists and people that were not necessarily the richest folk, um, what they went through when their friends were dying and what AIDS really meant. And it's a very, very emotional story that comes to life very beautifully in the story of Rent, I believe. Okay. Well, thank you very much for being on the show. Yeah, thank you. Hi, my name is Ashton Marcus. I'm with KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine, and I'm with... Carmen Jackson. I'm from Washington, D.C. Um, came out here to L.A. after finishing my conservatory degree at the American Musical and Dramatic Academy in New York. Um, I'm a recent graduate in October, and I'm just, I'm happy to be here. I had the Seasons of Love solo. <laughs> so what do you think of the performance? Oh, I thought it was great. The cast, they're, everybody's wonderful, from the directors to the producers, everybody's loving. It feels like such a, a family, you know what I mean? I've always, uh, I've always wondered about the uh, the, the storyline of Rent. It's such a, it's such a strange story of you know, you know what's life and like like you know what can you do in a year and what is there? What, what do you think of the story? Um, I think it gives the definition of people need to live more. Life is more precious than what people realize it to be. People take every day for granted when you only have one life to live. That's the biggest message I feel for me in the story is you only have one life and you have to live it to the best of your abilities or you're going to live in regret. Well, I loved your singing and the rest of the crowd did too. Oh, thank you so much. I know I heard them. I was pumped. I left off stage and I was screaming and yelling. It was great. It was fun. Great. Uh, I've, I've always loved that song. Well, thank you. Aww, thank you so much for coming. I'm happy you enjoyed yourself. Well, thank you very much for being on the show. No problem. You have a great night. Hi, my name is Ashton Marcus. I'm with KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine, and I'm with Andrew Allen, originally from Akron, Ohio. I moved out here about eight years ago, uh, studied musical theater at AMDA in Los Angeles, worked on a couple cruise ships, done some shows in LA, and just uh, been, you know, working through. <laughs> um, I'm in the ensemble. I also have uh, Steve and one of the homeless men in the many Christmas songs. Yeah. You also had a solo, didn't you? That is correct. I got the uh, male solo in Seasons of Love. 
Oh yeah, I love that song. No, oh, thank you. Yeah, it's it's a lot of fun to do, and I I have a lot of fun singing it. And with the you know the support of the cast on stage, it's just you just feel so safe, and it's it's great to, to get to do every night. Great. Yeah, I, I thought you were great in that in that song. Thank you very much. It's I worked hard, and it's it's a pleasure to do. Great. Okay, so uh, why did you get into musical theater anyway? Well, I actually saw the national tour of Hairspray when I was living in Ohio, and I saw it, and I saw a matinee, you know, where there's not that many people, and I just, I fell in love, and I was, I was a kid at the intermission who bought the CD, bought the program, bought the cup, you know, and I just, I knew that was something I had to do, and so, here I am. <laughs> uh, well, thank you very much for being on the show. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. Rent will be playing at the Saban Theater from July 16th to July 26th. For more information, go to www.sabantheater.org or search for Ambi Theater, that's all one word, Ambi Theater on Facebook.